What's up with it, bro? What's up? Nothing much. Introduce yourself. Let the people know who you are. I'm Tufan the Don. Uh, I got a few businesses. Some people will label me as an entrepreneur. I'm just a businessman slash hustler. That's okay. It. Um, when did you start this entrepreneur lifestyle? The entrepreneur lifestyle about five years ago. Actually, right when I graduated, I started doing life insurance from there. I got into health, probably casualty. I started a car dealership, and now I got an app. Okay. And you say you started doing life insurance. Was it the um, like the Prime America or New York Life or something like that? It was a company similar. That's how most people start. Um, I got a mentor. He showed me how to start my own agency. I started my own. Um, not like totally unrelated to you know those companies. And then uh, from there, I used that money to start a dealership. And then I used the collective money to fund the app. Yeah. But what what was it that gave you that courage to say, hey, I'm just quit my job and just take this chance? I didn't take a chance. I was homeless. Oh. Um, I was homeless for like a good six months, off and on. Uh, like my adult life, I got thrown like into the streets, like right out the gate. So I was homeless, trying to figure it out. You know, you got to figure something. Eat, eat. You got two choices, you either sink or swim. And I decided, you know, I wasn't going to be a victim, so I figured out how to swim. That's it. Yeah. Figured out how to hustle, figured out, you know, how to make things work. Yeah. Now you say you was homeless. How was that doing your, you know, how was that period of your life? It sucked. Uh, I was home, and then it started in the winter, so it definitely sucked. I had a, a little Camaro drop top. That car was kind of funny. So that kind of sucked, but um, yeah, I had that. I was just, you know, thugging a little bit, you know, sleeping in my car. Side of roads, um, Walmart parking lots, uh, abandoned houses. I uh, got a job at the post office, and then from there, that's when I started my venture with the uh, insurance. So you were never like one, um, I want to say, I'm, I correct myself. You were never like, or as like homeless where you were just out in the streets, you had your car, you said. Oh, no, no, I wasn't just out on the street. I had a car, at least. Hey, yeah. Shout out Easy Link. Burko D flipped the script. We flipped the script. Big Burko D right. flipped the script. We're taking over the world with Easy Link, bro. Yeah. And yeah, we tapped in. Yeah. So, it was the entrepreneurship that was just, like you said, starting to sell the insurance. That would get you out of that position. That uh, like, it made me think outside of uh, what I was used to. You know, where I come from, ain't nothing but poverty and people hate you. You know what I'm saying? And I got tired of it. That's it, really. But it wasn't more me training myself. I was forced, which I'm thankful for during that time. Nah, but looking back at it, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be where I am today. I'm 24 year old, two years old with four businesses, making six figures, and I can't complain. Uh -huh. Soon so, to make seven. Now, you say you got the insurance business going on. Yep. You Life, got the health, dealership. Health, property, casualty. I got the dealership uh, right now for How to Shell. Uh, which is the Hazelwood area, but I'm trying to move to St. Charles, get a small office, get a little cheaper, okay. and uh, focus on Easy Link, which is my newest project that I just launched November 16th. And that's, that's how we originally met, me and you, with the Easy Link connection. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Now, explain to people what exactly is Easy Link. Easy Link is a company and brand that everyone in the future, near future, will know. Uh, it's basically, it's a it's a contact card. People think it's a business card, like it's for business owners, but that's not my dream. My goal, I priced it so low where everyone can use it and I'm making it make sense for everyone to use it, whether you're an influencer or you just have social media or you have a business. Um, so it's just an app you download and it connects with the product. Like how you go to Walmart, they have light fixtures that connect with the app, you can change the lights or whatever. Same thing as my product, but you can do it and program it straight from your phone and through the app. And I'm updating it week by week. Come 2022 though, people should be amazed by how it looks. And it's a one-time fee or it's a monthly fee or what? Nope, no, it's free for life. Uh, you pay for the product. Um, right now I got to sell, it's usually 50. I got it on sale for $29.99. And my goal, it's to add like in-app purchases where you can create and do different things that benefit business owners or people who want to pay for it. But as for right now, everything is free except for the product itself. So you can just go download the app right now. 
anybody. Uh, everybody in this lot, anybody in California, any other place, download it for free, test it out, and then whenever they buy the product, they can buy the product. Okay, I was gonna say, do they, can they buy the better product through the app or they have to do that direct? Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. What made you think of something like this? Uh, never had a product. Uh, sold cars, those were expensive. Uh, I brainstormed uh, November of last year. So this is 2021. I brainstormed 2020. Uh, a little bit around the time, an uh, app called Clubhouse Drop. I was on there picking people's okay, brains. Okay. And I figured out some stuff. I saw something that was different, and that was it. I saw some companies similar. There was two in particular that I liked. I called development companies. Um, it was more expensive than what I thought. <laughs> I found somebody that was willing to work with me and do installment payments. And I've been just doing a lot of payments. And we finally got it complete. So it just took some time. Now, with social media, it's just banning everybody pays left and right. Have you ever thought about making your own social media app? My own social media app, and that's ultimately what these links gonna be. So, step by step, all this stuff is expensive. Uh, I lost thousands of dollars, and it costs thousands of dollars. So, just that and stuff is literally lost thousands of dollars because you gotta learn something new. The app space is something totally new. Uh, but ultimately, what I want these links to be is when it gets done, every user will be able to connect, and link to it will be a social platform, so it'll have its own social platform of its own, is what I'm trying to do. Uh, out in St. Louis, we don't have a real media, or a major media like a lot of places, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to tackle it to where everyone is connected, which what Facebook's doing, everybody else is doing, but I'm just doing it on a smaller scale, hoping to grow it. Not hoping to grow it, I will grow it. Okay. Now, when you log into this app, you have to put your information into this app, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, how well protected are the customers? Well protected? Uh -huh. Very well protected, man. We got three different servers. You don't have to worry about that. And my development company, uh, how much they charge me, I'm pretty sure everything's secure. <laughs> <laughs> it better be. Yeah, it better be. <laughs> Now you say that's three business. What was the fourth business you had? The, you had the car lot with the dealership? Um, official LLCs uh, is those three. The insurance, uh, dealership, Easy Link, and then I do other ventures like promoting and uh, whatever I can think of that makes a dollar. Okay. How has the entrepreneurial lifestyle been for you? Just be able to move freely on your time. It's a lot of freedom, but it's a lot of responsibility. Uh, also, when you put other people in positions, you have to build. When you're the forefront of any movement, it's a lot of responsibility, so you got a lot of people riding your back, so it's stressful, for sure. But, you know, you choose your stress. I decided that I wanted more for myself, so I figured I'd rather go through this than just live a normal life, so I'm okay with it. Do you have some points or some moments where you just feel like, man, where it just be too stressful, like, I just want to give up, or you just want to just throw it all away? Every day, but I turn it into, I look at life like this, man. You got one shot. We don't know what happens afterwards. While I'm here, I'm gonna create a name for myself. 10 years ago, did you pitch yourself in this position? 10 years ago, I'm 24. 10 years ago, I was 14. 10 years ago, I was uh, playing 2K every day. <laughs> nah, I didn't. Yeah. I thought I was just gonna be like all my boys. That's it. Yeah. Um, and speaking of like 2K, who are you going for like, as far as um, NBA? NBA, like for the uh, championship. I mean, uh -huh. I'm still a Warriors fan, man. Anywhere man, Curry my is, boy, hey. Anywhere Kurt Curry is, I'm messing with it. I fuck with you, man. Hey, he he nasty. Yeah, <laughs> he been doing his thing. The Warriors, they looking like 2016, 2015, man. I'm telling they looking you. good. They looking good, man. They looking good. Now, you said as far as like earlier life for that led to our work. Trent, the period you was in your life for being home, you say you was thugging. Now, if you could speak to the youth, speak to a young man who's probably going through some of the things you were going through at that period you of time. You only know what you know. There's a lot more to this world than what you know. There's a lot more to this world than what I currently know. And I know a lot. Um, but I'm so young. You know, it takes 24 years to get to 24, and as it takes 50 years to get to 50. You learn a lot of stuff. So as long as you keep learning, you should be good. And the problem is a lot of people get stagnant. They think they know it all and or they don't want to learn. So as long as people keep learning and trying to grow, I don't care if it's 1% a day, 1% a year, just grow. That's it. Mm -hmm. Do you got any other ideas outside of the four Ben? Do you got any other ventures you would like to get into? Nothing I can speak about. I was just saying. Right. <laughs> well, um, 
I guess, do you have any last words you'd like to share? Last words, support me in any way or don't. Either way, I'm gonna see you at the top. <laughs> hey, either way, I'm gonna see you at the top. Now, shout out to your social media, let the people know where they can find you at. Uh, to find, to find the dime, and shout out Easy Link, E Z L I N Q, uh, my newest venture. You're gonna see it around the world soon, just wait on it. Yeah.